Hi guys, welcome to Xperia Tips. I'm Dom and this is the first in a three-part series about Sony's triple image sensing on the Xperia XZ and X Compact. Today we'll be looking at predictive hybrid autofocus and putting these cameras to the test. <laughs> Now, if you've not seen my previous video on this subject, it was more of an introduction to triple image sensing. But as people rightly pointed out in the comments, there were no sample shots to back up these claims. So we'll tackle each sensor individually. And first up is the image sensor, Sony's renowned Exmor RS sensor for mobile, whose construction is pretty unique and it allows way more lights to be captured than any of the other sensors on the market. But we'll get to low light photography in another episode. The Exmor RS sensor is also responsible for predictive hybrid autofocus. And to put this to the test, we're going to London. London Recently, I went on a trip to London with my best mate Aiden and one of his friends, Loz. We ate, we walked, we shopped, but little did we know that on that day, Regent Street was closed off. That's kind of a big deal. And it turns out that on that day, the Tour of Britain was passing through London. The Tour of Britain is like the Tour de France, but in Britain. Anyway, the sight of these athletes cycling by at such speed was absolutely astounding. I mean, the speed that they were generating was phenomenal. I googled it later and it turns out that the average speed for these riders was around 40 kilometers an hour. So I thought on their next lap round, this would be the perfect opportunity to test out predictive hybrid autofocus because if there's anything that's gonna yield blurry images, it's these guys. So here are the results. Bang, look at that. Ooh, see what I mean? There is no motion blur. You can even zoom in on the spokes of the wheel. You can see the branding on the rim of this wheel. I mean, and it's traveling at 40 kilometers an hour. So if you want to capture life without blur, thanks to predictive hybrid autofocus, just make sure you've got an Xperia XZ or X Compact to hand. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll be looking at the laser autofocus sensor on the Xperia XZ and seeing how it contributes to amazing low light photography. And don't forget to like, follow and subscribe for some more Xperia tips. We're going to London. Should it be it should be London behind me now. London. I'm really in London. It's not a green screen. Uh, London. Oh uh, yeah. Anyways. <clears throat>